guys, welcome back to Mental Health with Maddie. And today we're gonna talk about what you can expect when you're at a psych hospital staff wise. We're kind of gonna go over one to ones, two on ones, um, different kinds of labels. That way you guys kind of know what you're getting into when you go to the psych hospital. This is the beginning of a series I'm starting on here, um, as well as good night messages. Those will never end. So let's get started. One thing you can expect when you get to psych hospital is that staff is going to be firm. We are firm for a reason. It doesn't mean we don't care or we don't love. It means we care about your safety. So when we say, hey, please stop, and you don't stop, and we're like, we said, please stop, like, please stop, and you don't, and then we have to call someone else to come help us get you to stop, it's because if you're going on about past traumas and we've said politely, hey, please stop, you know, please stop, and there's a kid starting to go in crisis because it's triggering them, you know, we're being firm, but we're being firm with the idea of we're watching out for this other kid. Now, if you're like having fun and you're laughing and we're like, hey guys, can you like keep it down a little bit? You know, that's fine. We're not gonna get on to you for that, but you have to understand there are strict rules at each place. And obviously I don't know what it's like at a low risk facility. I only know what high risk is like, but at our facility, we have it with very strict rules because with strict rules are structure and safety. Um, at high risk, you can expect to have um, um, be in scrubs, at least in ours. We have all the kids in scrubs because kids will take the strings out, kids will start manipulating the clothes, like it's just for safety. So when a staff asks you, hey, here's your admin papers, can you change into scrubs? It's not them bullying or being mad, it's like, hey, these are the rules. And when you fire back at us that you're not gonna change or that you refuse or that, you know, screw the system, I'm wearing my clothes, like it's not our rules, you know? Those are the rules that the state has implied. Here's what you can expect staff-wise though. When you come in, we're usually a little firm because we have to show you, you know, like there are rules. But at the same time, if you're in crisis and you come in, you bet your butt I'm gonna be sitting there with you trying to help you. Everyone comes in differently. Some kids come in ready to fight. Some kids come in very upset and in crisis. And some kids walk in chill. And if you're one of those, we'll adjust to whatever you need. You have to remember, people, you have to remember, we're not the bad guys. It might seem like we're the bad guys, but that usually just means if you think we're the bad guys that you haven't accepted treatment yet. Like you have not accepted the fact that you need help or that you are gonna get help. But once you do accept it, we can help you so much more. Um, what you can expect from me on the unit is that I will be very, very firm on the unit with like rules, with, you know, um, of objects you shouldn't have, um, you know, like, I'm not gonna let you start telling bad stories on the unit or talking about inappropriate things. But at the same time, I'm gonna like joke with you and I'm gonna play with you and I'm gonna make you laugh. Like you being at a psych hospital isn't a punishment. It isn't a jail sentence. It's not a F you from your parents or the doctors. It's for you to get better. So by us being mean or like being strict with no fun, no one learns that way. No one's gonna grow and we're just gonna continue like making your traumatic experience worse from whatever your past is. So I go on the unit, I'm usually pretty firm in the morning, I'm like, guys, let's get up, it's time to make your bed, breakfast, showers, let's go. You know, we're firm, and then we go to breakfast, and boom, I start, I eat my breakfast with them. You know, I'll sit down at the table, and I eat my breakfast with them, I ask them how they're doing, we have a fun little chit-chat, and then I'm like, okay, we're gonna do groups. And yeah, I stick to the schedule, because that's what your treatment is. However, I'm one of the fun staff that if we get the groups done in time, we're gonna start a movie in the morning and every time we're done with a group early, we're gonna go bit by bit and finish that movie. Because by me just bagging on a ton of groups, you're gonna start getting frustrated. Therefore, I just start and I'm just like, okay, we're gonna do this, take a break. Do this, take a break. I've noticed that just works better with kids. Um, then, you know, if there's fights, you can expect staff to be really strict. You know, there's sometimes where we have several kids who want to show dominance over staff, and we do. We do have to shut the unit down. And it, you have to understand if that happens and you're not one of the problematic kids, it's not your fault, and we don't blame you. But we do have to shut the unit down sometimes for safety. You know, and if you're going to understand and be like, okay, I understand it's a shitty situation, but you know what? I'm going to go in my room. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to be safe. We'll, we'll come back in 30 minutes when they restart the unit, then that's great. If you try to fight with us, yeah, we're going to be more strict, you know? And I want to do this video, and it's probably going to get a lot of hate, per always, 
But I wanted to show that not everyone's a bad person that works in a psych hospital and that we do care, but my way of caring is being strict, being firm, and then having fun. It's like having a child and you're the parent. You know, you can't be their best friend right off. You have to enforce rules and boundaries and goals, and that's what we do. And you know, at the end of the day, these are my kids, you know? I don't have kids. Half of the kids there are, are LOA, which means they're in foster care placement, trying to find a family. So these kids at the end of the day are my kids. And that is something we instill in them is we're not your best friends. We're your, your parents or your treatment keepers until we can get to that friend status, you know? But that doesn't mean you can't pull me aside. I have kids pull me aside all the time and are like, hey, can I talk to you? Drama, 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 or hey, this is how I'm feeling about this scenario, or hey, when you said, you know, please stop, I didn't like that, and that's why I got upset and was sna snappy, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just trying to explain that, like, if you're open with us and you give us a chance to help you, it's actually going to help. Um, so then, if you are a one-to-one... I do have to be stricter with you, and we usually are pretty strict on the one-to-ones, to an extent. We are very strict rule-wise. So, like, with stuff you can and can't have, where you can and can't go, how long you can do something. However, at least at my facility, if you are a one-to-one, -one, you can go on walks. If you're, like, getting triggered and you're like, crap, I gotta get off the unit, like, take me now or I'm gonna fight someone, we're gonna take you off the unit. Now, if someone on the unit had said that, we would have been like, hey, come to the safe room, talk to me. But a one-to-one -one has a staff with them at all times, which makes it a little more secure so we can take you on and off the unit if you're getting overstimulated, you're getting, you know, stressed. It's just stuff to help you guys. Um, then a two-on-one's the same thing, but it's a higher risk and we probably won't take you off the unit. If you're a two-on-one, it's probably because you came in sedated from the hospital because you were in medical treatment not always, just at our place, if you've received higher medical treatment and absolutely like got close or have damage or you know are just leaving the ICU or the regular hospital, we're probably going to put a two-on-one on you just for extra eyes. Um, and then there's like, I won't go over ECO and CO, which is constant observation where we just watch you on the unit. Um, but here's the thing, if you come and you come on our unit and you give us a chance, you know, you give us like, oh, you know, I have kids all the time that go, I fucking hated you when I got here. And then they look at me and they go, but you're the only single one that would fight for me while I was here. You're the only one who gave me a chance. You're the only one who didn't hold it against me that I was mean. You're the only one who didn't tell me to go away. You are, are like my favorite. And that's because, yes, I'm strict, but some of these kids need strict. Some of these kids need that tough love. But at the end of the day, I don't think I've ever had a kid leave and go, you're not my favorite. And that's because they come in, I set boundaries, I set expectations with them, and I go over goals. And you know what? I'm going to be your friend through all of those. But as we get closer to your discharge day, I can trust you more, and I can talk to you more, and I can help you more. And that's the thing is when you guys come in, just give us a chance. Now, I will admit, there are some crappy staff. There are. Like, like any job, you're going to run into staff that, like, is on their phone all the time, or, you know, is snappy or short, or, you know, has worked too much and they're there. And that's how I know that I need to take a break is when one of my favorite kids will come and be like, are you okay? You're like super, super short with us today. And I'm like, oh my God, am I? And they're like, yeah. And then that's when I know I need to take a step back and take a couple days off because I'm starting to get overwhelmed. I'm taking in the negative negativity. I'm taking in all of their traumas. And then I need a couple days to come back. And when I come back, boom, you know, I'm ready to help you guys. Um, if you get with a bad staff, take my advice. I'm going to tell you this. Listen, do not publicize it. Do not. If you start talking shit about your staff, you are going to get the worst reputation in the hospital. The worst. You're going to get called a complainer, a whiner, a liar. That's not appropriate how to do that. Don't go out and be like, so-and-so sucks. Or like, I hate having that staff. They sit on their phone all day. Or I hate having this staff. We do too many groups. Or we don't do anything. You never want to call a staff out. Chances are the staff's either having a bad day, they've got something going on in their life, or guess what? They're burned out and that happens and it's okay. As long as they're making sure you're safe, you don't need to call them out. Here's what you do. You pull a staff that you know, like say me, who's like, you know, say I'm one of your favorites and you're like, hey, I gotta talk to you. I'm like, hey, what's up? And you're like, 
Look, I had so-and-so last night. They were awful. They, they didn't watch me. They fell asleep. They were on their phone. They were calling. They were texting. They didn't run groups. So-and-so snuck into so-and-so's room. If you tell me or a staff individually, we're going to go high up. But if you get everyone aware of what happens, then the kids are going to start chiming in. Then staff's going to back that staff because we're going to have our staffs back too because like you're making accusations before the cameras can get checked. And so I'm not saying don't speak up. I'm saying don't publicize it in front of everyone and call them out because the mature thing to do is to find a safe person and be like, hey, look, this is what happened. How can we fix this? Like what? What can I do? What can you do? Because there's been so many times the kid's done that and you know what I do? Do do do. Hey, I need a break on girls unit. Walk my ass down to my bosses. Because it's not acceptable. If you have a bad staff, that's not acceptable. But it's also not acceptable for you to call them out in front of everyone and talk without us being able to like verify. So just pull the staff aside or be like, you know what? There's so many times on the units where the kids are like, I'm a f do that staff because I hate them. No. Pull someone aside and be like, look, <laughs> I like you better. Can you be my staff and switch with her? Nine out of 10 times, unless you're a core staff like I was, we can switch out. But if you start making a big deal out of it, they're gonna keep you on that staff because they're gonna think that staff is strict, as this might come out wrong, but they're gonna think that staff is strict and you don't like it. So that's how they're gonna take that unless they can prove it. You know, here's an example. There was a time, a couple of weeks ago, I was at the hospital. Kate comes up, she goes, hey, I'm on alternate meals. She had an eating disorder and um, she wasn't on alternate meals. She lied to me to get me to go get her another meal. And then when I got up, I said, hey, you're not. And then she bashed me in front of the whole place and like tried to get rumors started. When all that kid had to do was go, Miss Maddie, I don't like this food. I'm struggling eating. What can I do? And you know what I would have done? Hey, do you like Pizza Hut, Taco Bell? salads what do you want i'll go get it you know like i'll hide it i'll give it to you in a little bit we're gonna figure this out and then i would have been like you know what we have a dietitian here let's contact the dietitian see if we can change your meals up a little bit but by lying and calling me out i a had everyone thinking that i was the bad staff and i wasn't the kid was very manipulative but also, it made it look like, you know, like, oh, the hospital screwed up. No, you were trying to manipulate the situation when all you guys have to do is be honest with us and let us help you. Um, let me think of some more scenarios because this is like a really good topic. Um, if you're going on the unit and you have me and it's your first day and I'm like, hey, no, we can't do that. It's um, group time you know, and you respect that, heck yeah, I'm gonna start joking with you, you know? But if you start bullying me back and I'm like, hold up, I, we, we gotta put the, you know, put the paint down, we have to go to the gym right now, like it's gym time and you wanna fight me every time? Yeah, I'm gonna start getting frustrated and eventually you're gonna push my button so far that I'm gonna call for support and then I'm going to leave the unit and take a break while they deal with you and get you off the unit. Um, and by that, I mean they will either talk to you and tell you to go to the unit or they're going to stick you in your room. Not like stick you, but they'll have you walk to your room and you'll just be in there while we're doing groups because we don't want you out on the unit like disrupting and like causing a distraction. Um, but here, just know this. If you have any issues with the staff, from the bottom of my heart, please pull a staff aside and just tell them. You know, don't cause a big disruptance. Um, the other kind of staff you can have are the kind who over dramatic, like make everything more dramatic, where they're like, so and so did this, this, and this, and this, and this, and it's like, okay, well, hold on. So if a staff is drop making it more dramatic and dramatizing what you're doing, pull someone aside. Every time I'm gonna say this, it's gonna pull someone aside. Hey, I did this, I know I was in the wrong, but now she's making a big deal out of it. She's using it for examples every day. She's starting fights. What do I do? But my butt, I'm going right back down and I'm going to talk to them and be like, look, this is not right. Like, we can't do this to a kid. Um, another situation, you have the staff who lets you watch TV all day, every day long. And then I come in and I'm like, hey guys, we're running groups. And then now I'm the bad guy. Um, that's That happens a lot. You know, we tell kids, no, you're not watching movies while you're here. You're doing treatment. But I do put on movies some for fun. Um, 
yeah that's kind of just it I kind of want to go over some different stereotypes of workers and how it can help you and how to like effectively tell someone that something is happening and I cannot say it enough do not call a staff out ask to pull a staff member aside you trust and tell them and nine out of ten times you can write a grievance which says what happens and we will walk it down to where it needs to be taken care of I do it all the time for kids because we all fight for each other. So if you like this, <clears throat> comment in the bottom um, more that you want to see in this series. This isn't to scare you guys. It's to genuinely help you and give you tricks to do well at your next psych hospital stay or answer some questions. Um, but I hope you guys like it. And yeah, I will see you next time. Remember, it might be a bad day, month, or year, but it is not a bad life. I love you guys.